Since the return of democracy in the year 1999 and the inauguration of Olushegun Obasanjo as the democratically elected president, the country started celebrating Democracy Day every 29th May to showcase the impact of democracy on the citizenry. Every year celebration comes with a different reaction from stakeholders. Speaking to ITV News, National Secretary of Social Democratic Party, SDP, Shehu Gabam, expressed concern over what he termed the shrinking of democracy in the country. What we are witnessing today is the shrinking of the space of democracy, lack of participation. Once you have a contrary view to the people in government, they find one way or the other to either coerce you or limit your freedom as a citizen, that you have the right to express your opposition to what is going on. We have seen a democracy where the right of the people are being denied. People are summarily being sentenced. For his part, a political scientist, Dr. Usman Muhammad, said that the achievement and failure of democracy is 50-50. Well, uh, a mixture of uh, freedom and slavery. A mixture of freedom in the sense that here is a democracy that has offered us freedom, liberty, and also the politicians have promised so many things, and yet very little or nothing is coming out of them. So it's a failure on their part. On the part of the followers, they have not asked questions. They have not been very critical. On security, Gabam insisted that the continuous killings across the country is threat to the 2019 election. It's likelihood, unless something, uh, you know, happened, uh, very, very quickly. The 2019, like I said, the signals is showing clearly that it's under threat. Two, when you look at the level of insecurity that have pervaded the, the land, our country, it's very, very alarming. The level of killings that are ongoing in this country is perhaps worse than the civil war we have gone through. In a particular state, over 1,000 people have been killed, unjustly killed. Go and take the statistics of the people that have been killed in Zamfara alone that was underreported. Al-Hassan Bala, ITV News, Abuja.